All right, so um, today I'm using different audio to record. I'm using this headset because I want to show uh, my students how they can add uh, sound or how to record sound, record your own dialogue for a movie, voiceovers, uh, you're making your animation and pivot and you want to add your own dialogue and you want to record that dialogue. Well, there's a couple great ways to do that. One of my favorite is a free program called Audacity. This is Audacity. Um, and uh, the icon for Audacity looks like uh, this. This is the icon for Audacity. It's a little little headset with a little, uh, it's a little wave symbol. So um, I'm going to take Audacity and show you how this works. I am using the, um, let's see, Microsoft, Microsoft Life Chat uh, LX3000. This is just something that we had, uh, that I've had in a box for a while. We haven't used them. And uh, the sound quality is pretty good. I hope, I hope it sounds pretty good. Uh, I should check that. Okay, so um, it, this is Audacity. And the first thing you want to do is just check and see if in your um, settings here, it has your actual name. So it says right here, Headset Microphone Microsoft or Microphone Realtek USB. And I know that it's the Headset Microphone. I have a, my webcam also has a microphone. So I want to make sure that it's set on that microphone. I'm going to set the recording to mono, not stereo. And because I am a mono, it, it's, it's coming from one source. So, um, and then I'm going to put the uh, playback on the headset earphone, Microsoft. I'm also going to set that to uh, Microsoft Live. And now it's recording audio. So let's see if that works. I'm going to hit the big red record button. And I am talking. And I see these wave symbols coming out. And I can see this green line at the top indicating how strong the signal is. Now if my signal is touching the top of the uh, screen, I, I might want to lower the intensity. So to lower the intensity, I have this little microphone symbol. And I can drag that down a little bit so that it's not as strong. Now you can see that the waves are not as large. And that's good. And then what should happen is if I hit stop and I hit playback, hopefully you can hear my voice playing back. And I can do lots of things to this. I can delete parts I don't want. I can silence parts I don't want so that if you make a mistake, you don't have to stop and start over again. You can just delete the part that you, you don't want anymore. Um, and this is how uh, you could record dialogue for your movie. You could do sound effects. You can um, write a song. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with Audacity, but that, that's a simple way of doing that. Now, um, when I'm done and I have my recording, I can go File, Export Audio. And I can take that and export it as an MP3. I can export it as a WAV file. WAV files are going to give you your best quality and AIFF um, for use in your project. And I would save it to whatever drive I'm working in. In this case, I would tell all my students, save to your H drive. Put it in your folder where you're, you're working on things. Maybe I'll call this my, uh, you know, me talking. All right. I'm going to say OK. And then it exported it. Now if I open up Movie Maker, I can um, add those things, adding music. So first you have to have a picture, by the way. You can't add sound to your picture, so I'll drag a picture, any picture. And then I can see now I've got the option to add music. I will go to add music, and uh, I'm going to say add music from PC. And I will go in here, and let's see, my voice, what would I call it? Me talking. Open. All right, now let's hit play. And I am talking, and I see these symbols coming out and I can yeah see now them. the better thing to do would of course be to have your animation or your movie or you're talking about the thing that you have there you can also record directly into the program so I can go here and I can select record narration okay record narration and there's a big record button up here on the left I hit record this is fancy pants with mr. G I'll be playing fancy pants adventures stop okay and look, it's going to save it. It gives it a very boring name here. I can I can give it a better name. I can call it Fancy Pants Adventures Part 1. Or I can leave it and just save it in your folder so you know where it is. I'm going to put it in my pivot folder. You could make a folder called Narration. Save. And play back. Record. 
This is Fancy Pants with Mr. G. I'll be playing Fancy Pants Adventures. All right, there you go. The better your headset, the better quality of sound you're going to get. And uh, anyway, this has been a quick tutorial on how to record audio with Audacity and the headset. Have a great day. Talk to you later.